I work in the area of business analytics and operations research. That's an area that allows you to take real-world business problems and put structure on them so that you can solve the problems. Um, in particular, I've looked at problems in the um, electricity domain. So when we're trying to integrate wind into the um, Irish grid system, how do we handle all of that? So the models that we would use would try and um, create new answers to how we've solved those problems. To me, maths is like a language that you can use and create a set of equations that describe the problem. Once you've got a mathematical model that is a set of equations that describe it, you can use tools and techniques to solve that system of equations to give you some solutions to your problem. Business analytics has a very broad range of applications, so from facility location to scheduling to hospital rostering, lots and lots of different types of um, problem domains. Um, and in one way that's what makes it really interesting because you can be one day working with uh, Quilcha on a forestry project, the next day you can be working with the Central Statistics Office on a population determination problem, and the next day you can be working with one of the electricity supply companies. Um, on determining um, where they should locate uh, wind farms or how they should operate the wind farms. So lots and lots of different applications and different uh, domains, but the techniques that underpin all of that are the same. So when we have problems like integrating wind into the electricity system, we have to model the existing system, we have to model the amount of demand that com can come from consumers, the amount of wind power that we have available, and there are also a whole new range of problems like can we ask consumers to moderate their behaviour so that we change those demand patterns. So business analytics and operations research are used to create mathematical models of both the behaviour of the consumer but also what's happening on the system. Um, once we've created those mathematical models, then we use our um, operational research techniques to solve those models and propose new solutions. And with computing power that we have available nowadays, it means that models that in the past were too challenging to solve can be solved. So we can create bigger and better models that encompass more of the assumptions that we want to include. There is more and more data available out there and the question the businesses are asking themselves is, is what do we do with all of that? There's a thing called the hype cycle that says when there's any new domain that comes out and um, there's a huge amount of hype promising that the, this technique can solve all kinds of problems. Um, so at the moment there is a lot of hype um, but there's a lot of very solid research work going on behind the scenes with people saying well how do we actually make this sustainable? How do we harvest value from all of that enormous amount of data that's out there? Um, and it's not as if there will be less data, there will be more data, but there will be more computational power and there will be better algorithms for marrying the two together. So that's where business analytics is a little bit different than operations research. It's about taking all of the data with all of the techniques and um, encapsulating all of the uncertainty as well.